Hi, my name is Ebony Moody and I'm Camp Mendocino's Youth of the Year. I've been a member of the Boys and Girls Club of San Francisco and attending Camp Mendocino for four years. For the past three years, I've been in the Leaders in Training program at camp, a youth program for teens ages 15 to 17. My proudest achievement so far in life is how far I've come in my education. Not everyone gets the opportunity to finish high school. I feel like graduating from high school starts off our journey and sets out what we're going to do later in life. I am currently a senior at Oakland Technical High School. After graduating high school, I plan to attend a four-year college or university and become a social worker to help change laws affecting foster youth. After a four-hour drive, I finally step off the bus. Camp Mendocino, a place I consider home. At camp, I trade in sirens and chaos for fresh air and the tallest trees I've ever seen. Camp is a place where I can finally connect with myself. A place where I can leave behind all of my problems. Problems I shouldn't have to worry about at my age. My name is Ebony Moody and I am Camp Mendocino's 2016 Youth of the Year and this is my story. <laughs> I've been in the foster care system for the last seven years, and my life has been full of uncertainties and inconsistencies. Too often in my life, I didn't know where I would sleep or when I would eat. Since the sixth grade, I've lived in eight different homes and attended six different schools. Every time I moved, I would start to feel comfortable, but deep down, I knew that the stability wouldn't last. I grew up unable to trust that the people in my life one day would still be around the next. And with no support from family or the people around me, I learned the only person I could rely on was myself. That is until I started going to camp. I would like to say thank you to the guardsmen and all of those who helped to support them in providing scholarships to Camp Mendocino. Because for the last four years, Camp Mendocino has been a place where I always feel welcomed, loved, valued, and understood. When first getting involved with camp, I didn't participate or try to meet new people because I was used to being let down. I was afraid to open up and afraid to let people in. But Camp Mendocino became a source of stability in my life. The staff at camp began to see through the walls I had built and showed me that I didn't need those walls to protect me because they would and insisted that giving up was no option. Most importantly, they showed me that I was worth believing in. Sarah and Rebecca, two of Camp Mendocino's directors, have been there for me in situations when otherwise I was totally alone. They've supported me in and out of school, given me strength for the future, and given me more encouragement than I can stand sometimes. <laughs> Sarah even tells me every day, literally every day, that she thinks I could be President of the United States. It's annoying. But, but I'm starting to believe it. My camp family has shown me what love really is. In my life, I've been surrounded by so much negativity, I was afraid I would soon give up on myself. Before camp, I didn't know what I was worth. But having such strong, caring, and positive role models in my life has really changed my perspective. I now have the confidence to be different from my peers who have either dropped out of school or don't know where their life is headed. With the support of camp, I am beating the odds. Each and every situation that I have encountered has shaped me into the person I am today, a passionate, influential, resilient young woman. With resilient young woman, Camp Mendocino gives kids encouragement, stability, and love. For some of us, it gives a place to call home. These are things that I was missing, but I am glad to say, not anymore. Thank you. <laughs>